Sculpting ice, I've been creating ice work for approximately 20 years. Paul Magnaldi is seeing his business shift from ice sculptures to ice in cocktails. The bars that serve bourbons and expensive whiskeys, for some reason they seem to have preference with one large cube in the glass instead of many small ones. I would say a hundred different bars and restaurants in the city use these cubes. Crystal clear ice is popping up in all of New York City's best bars. So what's the story with these beautiful hand-cut cubes? Bartending has changed. We've stepped up our game. We've gotten better liqueurs. We make our own syrups. Why not better ice? At the grain, Blake Bora makes his ice blocks with a cooler in his bar's freezer. I do make it in-house. It's a very small production. And cuts them apart with an udon noodle knife. By freezing directionally, he forces the air bubbles to one side. The bottom part here is cloudy, air pockets in there. This is the good stuff, like glass. This is me sanding it down a little bit. Carving a sphere minimizes surface area, doesn't dilute your drink so quickly. You can come, you can leave your worries at the door and have a great time. At the Dead Rabbit, Jillian Vos needs 14 of these 30 pound blocks every week. But to produce that much clear ice, you need a large machine called a Klein Bell. These machines take up a lot of room, they use up a lot of energy, so we just would not be able to do this on our own. Klein Bell machines freeze from the bottom up. It takes three days to produce these 300 pound blocks of ice. Paul and his team can make six of these at a time, most of which are chopped up for restaurants and bars. And they're not using knives and chisels. All right, we're back in action. See what happens. Saxon and Parole, Masahiro Rushido goes through two of these ice blocks on a busy night. This block makes about, you know, 20 to 30 drinks. He's using a Japanese ice pick and a custom curved chisel with his name on it. Let me make you one of our signature cocktail called Truffle Old Fashioned. kind of giving extra attention and love to the drink. So I think it's a different experience to drink out of these beautiful ice. So if bartenders are sculpting ice, what happens to the ice sculptor? Well, I'm finished with ice sculptures, at least in this portion of my life. I'm gonna change over to something standard like cubes and cut cubes and selling block ice. I know it's just frozen water, but there's a lot of work that goes into making it this beautiful. Ice is imperative to a good drink, for sure, but it also looks really pretty. That's also been a wow factor when people get their drink. Think of a chef. You're, you have your stove and you have your oven. That's what you cook with. Ice is what we cook with.